Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Hope you are all having a fantastic day. I wanted to get back to some of my story time sort of videos and talk about stuff that I think is important to know in the current crypto world and stuff that maybe isn't too talked about. As always, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a girl looking to make some money off crypto and take people along with her on the way. So with all of the NFT hype, I'm surprised to see that ENS or Ethereum name services names aren't going absolutely parabolic in use. I believe that they are the key for the decentralized internet or the web 3.0. The topics I'm going to discuss in this video represent just a fraction of the mind blowing use cases for Ethereum name services. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. The Ethereum name service is a simple lookup system linking certain info to a given name, but it is not just limited to ETH. It provides a secure and decentralized way to address resources to human readable names anywhere. With this base foundation and a bit of cryptography, ENS functions in a way that is similar to how website domains work. What makes this so attractive is that their root of trust is native to Ethereum and holders can host decentralized websites on the next iteration of the web. These sites, when connected with IPFS, are censorship resistant and unstoppable websites. The applications and cryptogra cryptographic proofs offered by ENS will be desired for their native root of trust on Ethereum with the dApps of the future. Because these human readable addresses are created in the form of NFTs, they must each be unique to one another, just like typical website domains. Users can register, buy or sell these .eth names, just like any other NFT on OpenSea. You should go check them out. But they get even more interesting than that, if that's possible. The ENS names can actually function as a wallet address linking blockchains in a simple, easy to read manner. Anyone can send Bitcoin, Doge, ERC20s, or even NFTs to your ENS name, i.e. name.eth or ivycrypto.eth, just like wallet addresses. This is all done in a non-custodial, easy way. Way back in the early days of the internet, in order to access a website, you had to type in their IP address, like 192.168.1.1. Then came DNS, which allowed us to convert human readable names into this into their corresponding IP address, like google.com. Thought it ended there though. What I've mentioned is just where it begins. ENS names can solve a major issue on the internet with a single sign on solution. They can represent with certainty internet identities. Can you imagine if there was a universal login for everything? With ENS, this is, a poss this is possible, and this alone would open up another world of opportunity for these names on Ethereum. No more sacrificing privacy to sell, all the tech giant to sell to the tech giants with emails and different logins for each website. Maybe something like this, but for .eth profiles, as you can see here. I know this info sounds great and all, but why would the institutions care? because they recently announced DNS namespace integration with ENS, meaning you can deploy DNS records to ENS, which means that popular brands can easily authenticate different blockchain addresses with their own domain names to deploy verified NFTs. What's key here is the fact that they can do this all while working, while working on stuff that they are familiar with. For example, if you own google.com on DNS, you can import it to ENS as google.com, not google.eth, which is a separate name. You can then set any ENS records, like your addresses for ETH, Bitcoin, Doge, etc., and connect all of them to the blockchains. We know a big factor hindering the adoption of, of, of NFTs from bigger players is their lack of clarity in the law. But DNS namespace integration made deployment of NFTs much more viable. Many courts actually handle legal issues with DNS TLDs. Now, ENS wouldn't be complete for the web infrastructure if it didn't offer subdomains, would it? 
Well, the Ethereum name service takes them a step even further. In an announcement from a few months ago, a team member detailed their plans to integrate some promising features. Now, this is quite the thread, so I'm not going to go fully into it, but it is definitely worth going to this guy's profile and look, checking it out. Owners of ENS names can create an unlimited number of subdomains with programmable permissions that are very unique. What if projects like DAOs or groups started giving out subdomains to that .eth name as a sort of special badge? Remember, these are additionally subdomains. Let's say I was on a team and wished to integrate this concept on my website. How would I do it? I'd simply register rights to an ENS name and create subdomains to distribute to the team members who can then host their own subdomain of the website with the token. It's nuts, isn't it? I won't dive in too deep for this part, but ENS names could also fundamentally change Oracle designs on Ethereum for the better. Contracts could be made with auctions only take able by certain DNS names who may not even possess Ethereum accounts or publish cryptographic credentials yet. Last but not least, I'd like to touch on its potential for naming on Ethereum as a whole. There are many instances where the use of VNS for contracts could make user experience much better. Imagine interacting with DeFi just how you do now, but with human readable addresses. This could also include many other things like digital items and games, usernames, organizations, DAOs, donation wallets, common smart contracts, top domain names, employees, accounts, and a whole lot more I'll have to say for another video. But I'll get to the point. If you made it this far, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to go off and study ENS. The Ethereum name service is a perfect example of the many cutting edge protocols that could distribute trillion dollar industries building on Ethereum. If you're interested in getting your own ENS name, visit app.ens.domains and be sure to Google this stuff, guys. It is so unbelievably interesting. I highly encourage you to Google it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and as always, watch this space.